Hi, what's your name? My name's Kevin Epps. Okay, Kevin, good to know you. Why don't we start off and, um, I don't know, just tell me about yourself. Who's Kevin Epps? Well, Kevin Epps is a person that, even from youth, always needed to understand things around him. Uh, my brother used to say, don't let Kevin know your toys, because if you do, he'll take them apart, he'll leave them in pieces, and it'll be a disaster. And so uh, I've always never been satisfied with surface knowledge. I've always needed to understand the nuts and bolts of things. Sure. And so I've taken that into my work experience as well, you know, whether it's been as a business analyst, uh, learning the ins and outs of a project, mm -hmm. or uh, as a business owner, providing services to my clients. Yeah. And so I've, I've become adaptable. Uh, I, and a good problem solver. Okay, good, fair enough. Uh, I know you've worked with people throughout your career, managed people. How do you manage people? What, what would you say is your leadership style? My leadership style is that I set the example. Uh, people follow someone who's worthy of being followed. Mm -hmm. And so I have to make it a point of doing that. Uh, I want myself perceived as a, not as a do as I say person, but as a do as I do leader. Mm -hmm. Lead by example. Lead by example, exactly. Is integrity important to you in business? Integrity is very important. Matter of fact, it's one of my core values. Okay. All right. And it also, I uh, stay calm in the midst of a storm. That's, that's a great talent. That's a, that is a, actually a very strong trait of all great leaders, the ability to remain calm. Talk to me, looking back on your career, Kevin, is there something that stands out, maybe some accomplishment that you're kind of proud of that you can share with me? Yeah, I like this question because I think back a few years ago, a friend of mine offered me a business opportunity. And at the time, I really had always wanted to have my own business. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have uh, enough money to buy the business outright. Mm -hmm. So I approached my father to help me with the down payment. Mm -hmm. We set terms. I paid him back ahead of schedule. Mm -hmm. Having the business being successful, that was not the uh, thing that made me the most proud as far as the accomplishment. It was having my father's validation in that in that regard every son wants to please his father and so in my case my father I, I was born and raised in Washington DC mm -hmm. uh, my father and mother were federal employees okay. and basically when it came to career they had to look beyond the 25 years and a pension afterwards mm -hmm. uh, so I had accomplished something that my father hadn't even envisioned for himself right. and so to have that validation was great and I've taken that sense of pride into every project since then always exceeding expectations but you know I think you've almost answered my next question already which is if I'm down to two or three candidates which is always the case mm -hmm. you know, a coin flip it's a couple of guys uh, why would you encourage a company to choose you well be having been a business owner I understand the, the stakes involved in sure. running a business and keeping it successful. Yeah. Um, over the years, I've developed four core values, and they summed up in a word, fair. Uh, I'm a fair person, try to deal with people fairly, but I look at that word as an acronym. The F stands for focus. I'm like a racehorse with blinders on. Okay. I do not get distracted. I cut through the fog. I can hear above the roar of the crowd. Mm -hmm. The A is for uh, Accountability. Okay. Uh, 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 my word is my bond. I say what I mean, and I accomplish whatever I say I'm going to do. Okay. The I is for integrity, uh, which is a foundation of who I am. Okay. And so, I always make sure that I uh, treat people appropriately, no matter sure. what the circumstance might sure. be. And then the R is for resourcefulness. Uh, there have been times when I have had to pull that rabbit out of the hat in order to get something done. Okay. And you can do that when you have to. When I have to. Okay. Kevin, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice talking to you, too. Okay.